You guys know that I like to keep things as simple as possible. As photographers, I believe that we should focus on making the image and that be uh, in the field or later in the darkroom or computer and everything else we should try to simplify as much as we can because the, our job here is uh, to make that image. Many film photographers believe that the step that is in between exposing the film and working on those uh, negatives is not as creative. I'm talking about developing film. And I tend to agree with them. You see, developing film can get as complicated as you want. There are many developers out there, there are many film stocks, of course, and there are many ways to develop those film stocks with the same developer. So the amount of combinations, possible combinations, is just huge and overwhelming. So that's why, since I started shooting film, I decided to just settle down on one developer that I liked and get used to it and get used to the images that I was able to make with it and just stick with that developer forever. I wanted to simplify that step and I think that I achieved that for a long time. My favorite uh, developer uh, was Ilfotech HC until last year, I think it was last year, this Canadian company, I think they are from Canada, called Cinesteel, uh, released uh, this uh, new monobath developer and fixer all together in just one step and that caught my attention because it promised to uh, simplify even more that uh, step that it was uh, developing. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with this developer slash uh, fixer slash uh, all-in-one uh, solution. But before we do that, I just wanted to let you know because uh, I'm in Indiana, as you know, and I have a little bit more of time here. It's uh, summer and you know, my, my photography kind of slows down in the summer. I don't like it that much. It's very hot and humid and bright out there. Uh, so I'm taking uh, some time to finish some old projects and I'm taking some time to start new projects. I'm going to be talking about all of those pretty soon, but I also had time to work on new images and I'm talking about new prints and I finally, I was have finally able to release a, a new one. Uh, for those of, of you who don't know, I release uh, or I try to release one new image a month, one new print a month. I call this series uh, image of the month and this is the new one. This is the image uh, for July. You might recognize this image because I made it in the white sands in New Mexico. There is a video about that that you can watch. I'm gonna link it somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, my new image. You can grab your copy following the link in the description down below if you want to. It's gonna be available at a reduced price for just uh, 30 days. Well, a little bit less now, but for the rest of the month uh, of July. And for the first time, I'm offering the, this print in two sizes. This is the 8 by 8 inches on a 12 by 12 frame. And I also have 6 by 6. That is my traditional size on the same uh, frame, 12 by 12. But I think this is a beautiful print. It turned out very, very well. And so far, it's uh, my best selling print. Ever. If you like it, if you are interested in grabbing your copy, do it before the end of the month so you can get it at half the price because then it's going to increase at full price and I will never sell this print again at this, uh, at this price point. So let's talk about uh, Cinesteel uh, DF96. First of all, I just wanted to make clear that I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I had to pay for this uh, bottle. $20. Uh, it's supposed to be good for 16 rolls of film, so it comes out a little bit, a little bit more than $1, maybe $1.25 or so per roll. So it's very close to the cost that I was uh, paying per roll before using Ilfotec HC and a separate fixer. I think it came out at some $1 or $0.95, cents. so it's a little bit more, but it's not a big deal because, as I said, it promises to simplify the, the process. So I've used it to develop two rolls so far. The one that you saw from Channel Lakes, the video, the, all those images were developed with this and the uh, the one frame video from the Lake Wawasi uh, that was developed with these two and then I developed the uh, one old roll that I had in my Holga uh, from last year and the images from the Bronica uh, look 
pretty good. They were shot at box speed, they were developed at box speed. In order to develop with this at box speed with HP5, uh, you have to warm or heat this up to 80 degrees and yes, uh, agitate the, the tank for three minutes and you'll get very clean, or what I believe they are very clean and negatives. The one from the Holga didn't come out as well, but I mean, it's the Holga. I was pushing it one stop to 800, so I uh, heat up the uh, developer up to 90 degrees and I agitated the tank for uh, three and a half. Uh, minutes. So the process is very similar to what I was used to. You still have to rinse the film before with some water at the same temperature that the developer that developer you're going to use. And then this is the, the big difference. Those uh, three steps in between, that is the developer, the bath stop and the fixture, all of those steps are done now by this uh, one, just one solution. You save a lot of time. It used to take me uh, around one hour since I start, uh, you know, uh, loading the film in the reels in the changing bag until I had it hanging, already rinsed and clean. It was around one hour. And these uh, two times that I used this uh, the DF96 from CineSteel, the mono bath solution, it took me 35 minutes. 25 minutes that I'm saving every time I develop a roll. That's a lot of time. This is one of the biggest disadvantages uh, for me, in my opinion, of uh, shooting film. If you are developing film at home, and I have to because I shoot a lot and it would be, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to afford it. I wouldn't be able to send the film out to a lab to have it uh, developed and scanned because the scanning film is another uh, process that is kind of a pain. So any time that I can save from this process where I'm not doing anything creative for me is kind of a little bit of a waste of time i'd rather be here spending time with my loved ones or i know going for a walk or you know being out there taking uh, images so just for that i'm gonna say that this solution is a big win and it's completely worth it for me once again maybe your case is different maybe you already have a workflow that works for you and if it's not broken just don't fix it this stuff is gonna be uh, hopefully a game changer for me and i say hopefully because I've been wanting to try it for months, but I wasn't able to find it anywhere in Europe. So Cine still, if you're listening, please uh, make it available overseas because I would really use it. And this is it. I just wanted to share my experience with this developer, with all of you, and just wanted to let you know about my new print. Remember that you can check it out following the link in the description down below. And I would love to know what kind of uh, developer you use for your film, if uh, you like it, if you would like to use something like this to simplify your process, or what's uh, your whole opinion on developing and scanning a film. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.